I would say that programming is my first love. Hi, this is Samiksha Pate from Rajeshri Shahu College of Engineering, SP and IR Digital Team. And today we have among us a computer geek who is inquisitive and energetic. Let's welcome everyone, the upcoming product intern at Adobe, Ms. Simran Taneja. Hey Simran, first of all, many congratulations to you for being selected as summer intern at Adobe. Would you like to tell our audience about yourself? Hi, Samuksha. First of all, thank you. Uh, my name is Simran Taneja and uh, I am currently pursuing B.Tech in Electronics and Telecommunication. And uh, I'm, uh, if I have to say something about myself, I would say that programming is my first love. And uh, I, I, I am more interested in learning uh, new things and going deep into it. Oh, that's great. That's why you're here. <laughs> Yeah. So when can uh, when can we see you on board or how excited or nervous are you to join this internship? The tentative dates of joining is between May and August, but as of now, we know the current situation. So we haven't got any update yet, like whether it will be offline or an online internship. So I am equally nervous and excited for joining Adobe. Yes, all the be very best for the internship. Thank you. So what inspired you to apply at Adobe? Uh, Adobe is the biggest and fastest growing company in India. And uh, its work culture is also very good. So uh, that good wor working environment will help me to enhance my knowledge and develop my technical skills. And I always wanted to work in a product-based company. And I think Adobe would be a good start for me. How did you apply for Adobe? Actually, uh, I applied to the uh, She Codes program. It is only for girls. So it was from uh, it was in second year as well, right? Yeah, it was in second year, and uh, like uh, the internship one is for second and third year, and uh, the full time roles is offered uh, for fourth year students. Okay, okay. So what are your areas of interest and would you like to give us some insight on the projects you have done so far? I am interested in software development as well as ethical hacking, but software development takes a backseat when it comes on choosing one. I want to enhance my knowledge in cyber security and become white hat hacker someday. It is in my bucket list. And uh, coming on to projects, I have uh, completed many uh, CTS on Pico CTF. And I have made a mini game uh, for kids. It is an educational mini game. Oh, so can you tell us something about that project? It's so basically it is an isogram game with lots of animation to attack kids as well as the concept of it is to find a, a isogram. Like if we have to guess the isogram, so it will improve the knowledge of kids. Okay, okay, that's great. Simran, uh, do you have any mentor who has guided you throughout your journey? My biggest mentor in my life is Mona, ma'am. Uh, she had uh, taught me a C++ in 11th and 12th, and she's the only one who helped me find my passion. Oh, that's great. Now, uh, so Simran, being an ENTC student, what are the vices and virtues you think you have compared to the students from other branches? Uh, the biggest virtue is I learn to implement the code into the hardware. Uh, like normal IT students uh, just uh, code it out. And uh, being an ENTC student, I also learned it to implement in, it into the hardware. So uh, that's a good part. And the only drawback was I had to put some extra effort in coding. Uh, right, right. Now, talking about the internship, have you had any past internship experiences? I do not have any past experiences as such. It related to the software field. Okay, okay. So, how was the intern recruitment process at Adobe? Means how many rounds you had to clear and how was the experience overall? The overall experience was pretty good. It uh, had three rounds in total. The first two rounds were of AP and technical assessment, and the third round was interview round. 
it was a new experience for me uh, in all and uh, if i have to elaborate it now it would be too lengthy so i have written a descriptive blog post i can uh, share it and you can uh, see that for more information okay we'll share the link in that uh, video also, also so but can you tell means uh, like how was the question like they included data science and all uh, means data structure algorithm and uh, dbms questions were also there yeah uh, there were uh, like the first two rounds there were three assessments uh, first one was cognitive assessment second one was technical assessment and third one was coding round and in uh, uh, cognitive assessment there were uh, questions consisting of aptitude and in technical assessment uh, we had uh, technical questions which included uh, questions over uh, dsa and uh, some concepts of uh, um, uh, four subjects like os dbms and computer networks so if a person has good knowledge over uh, dsa uh, uh, computer network os and dbms he can easily crack those first two rounds and the coding questions in the first round was uh, easy pretty easy and but in the second round it was uh, of medium level questions so uh, like if you have practice of solving uh, questions on lead code you can crack it okay so uh, please let our audience know about your strategies and techniques for cracking in an interview also please mention any sites platforms you uh, think were helpful for you there are no strategies as such we just have to uh, follow some simple rules for cracking any interview i like uh, uh, we should talk when we code and we should not just simply code and we should uh, try to explain our approach to the interviewer and we should discuss the uh, corner test cases with the interviewer so that uh, like he gets the idea of our knowledge and uh, we are uh, we are on the way of getting the solution so we if we are missing out something he, the interviewer will help us in finding that thing so uh, it is important to uh, discuss with the interviewer all the corner test cases and the approach and i would say that do not waste much time on problem solving instead uh, keep it short and uh, try to implement the code faster okay so heading on our last question of this interview would you like to share any experience or mistake you did in this 3 years of engineering and any advice to our junior budding engineers uh, the only mistake was uh, i was a bit a bit lazy in between if i wouldn't be that lazy um, it uh, it would be much easier for me and also i would like to tell uh, my like my advice for the juniors would be um, be yourself and start from the first year itself because do not waste time time is very important and to get the best you have to give your best yes that's right that's right so thanks a lot simran uh, keep going and all the very best for your future hope this video was very helpful for our aspirants Thank <laughs> you.